The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Question number five wants to challenge us on our knowledge of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So, it says, the strontium-90 isotope is present in radioactive folia. When strontium-90 forms an ion, how many protons, neutrons, and electrons will it have in that order? Well, if we go to our periodic tables, we can see that if we look at strontium, it falls in the category of the alkaline earth metals, and it has an atomic number of 38. So, when we see the 38, we know that in a regular form of the element, not an ion, it would typically have 38 protons and 38 electrons. But, when we're talking about an ion, that means your electron numbers are going to change. Now, we know right away that we have 38 protons. Well, how do we typically find the number of neutrons? Neutrons is equal to the atomic mass minus the proton number, or the atomic number. So here, told us we're dealing with strontium-90. So this is our atomic mass, and we have 38 protons. So we're going to do 90 minus 38. It's going to leave us with 52 neutrons. So if we look at our answer choices, right away we can see that the professor knows you can go to the, pe to the periodic table. Because every single answer choice begins with 38 protons. So, what he really wants to challenge you on is how you can differentiate between the neutrons and the electrons. So, we already found our neutrons. So, we could eliminate answer choice number one and answer choice number two. So, now we can have one out of three if we didn't know how to find the electrons. But, because the electrons are in the alkaline earth metals, we know that strontium-90 has a plus two charge on it. Well, what that means is if we have a plus two charge, that means we lost two electrons. So, if typically we start out with 38 electrons, but then because we undergo radioactive decay, we lose two electrons, then that gives us a total of 36 electrons. So, just for the record, if we wanted to do another one and say maybe they asked you about the potassium ion, which was K plus, and we knew that potassium has a number of 19, so we know it has 19 protons, but we know that it has one positive charge, which means it lost one electron, so potassium would have 18 electrons. So the answer for question number five is strontium-90 has 38 protons, 52 neutrons, and 36 electrons. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.